guys, I look like a chef again. Normally, I wear my pajamas to what? Did I just say work? I meant school. So right now I have clinicals. It's like 5.20. I'm actually kind of late. I usually never leave after 5.10 because it takes an hour to get there and I need to rush. Why am I still vlogging? But I'm excited for clinicals today because I got about six hours of sleep, which is enough for me. Clinicals folder. <gasps> Good morning. Look at my doggy. <gasps> Good morning. <gasps> Good morning. Okay, stay in bed. So I just leave them inside because it gets cold at night sometimes. I'm gonna grab for my snacks. I'm gonna grab two of these bars. Banana. I'm gonna eat my vitamins. I eat two because I forget to eat them at night. I'm not sleepy. I'm ready for the day. Normally when I wake up, I'm like, grab a couple waters. Let's go. Hello, guys. Wait, it's 241. Can you guys see that? It is 241 and I am in my car now. I did so many things today. I have so much to tell you guys, um, but I have some pictures I wanna show you guys because, um, yeah, there's just so much I have to tell you guys. The first exciting thing I got to do was I got to give insulin for the first time, like give another patient insulin. And then I met my patient, and my patient was in because she had low potassium levels. She was put on telemetry, which is basically like a cardiac, a heart monitor, because low or high potassium levels or abnormal potassium levels um, affect the rhythm of your heart and the electrical currents of the beats and the stuff. <gasps> I don't know. I'm trying to sound smart. So I am back. I am in my car. I'm finished typing. Uh, two pages of my patient packet the rest of it I'm gonna do at home because I had my mom print them I had my mom print the rest of the patient packet so I can just do it by hand because yeah I don't have a printing machine I have a printer at home but it's like not working so it's like a really big hassle to get work printed so I'm at office depot right now and I'm gonna make my prints um, I just wanted to share with you guys my experience today at clinicals it was really cool. I got to see an, an endoscopy and a colonoscopy. So I just want to show you guys what I was talking about. It's really interesting. And yeah, so I have this clipboard for clinicals. Oh, and look at the stack of papers that my mom printed me, which I need to start doing because what I was doing in the library today was my med search. I have two medications here. One yeah, so it's one, I have one med here and then a second med here. That's what I was working on. And then I also was working on my um, patient summary. So like, MB is a 44 year old who came to emergency room on nine blah, 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 blah. So she printed me a stack of head to toe assessments that I have to fill out for my patient, my risk tool. I have to print out the client data report form or I have to fill that out. John Hopkins fall risk, med search, which I already did, so I don't need that. I need to do my values. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so I need to fill out, so I need to do these tonight. But I wanna show you guys, do you hear that? My mom's upstairs with my sister and you can hear them. But I have this clipboard here that I actually got on Amazon. My mistake though, I bought the medical clipboard. I'm not a doctor or planning on being a medical doctor. I should have got the nurse edition, but I got the medical edition and I didn't even know until my friend told me that I got the wrong edition. Cause I sent it to her to buy and she said, you sent me the medical edition. So I was like, oh. And, but a lot of it, I don't even know what it is because again, it's, from a medical doctor, but this is my clipboard that I would take to clinicals and I fill out the S bar thing, which is like another way to f like learn about your client and we get to talk about this in conference because how clinicals works is from 
7 till 12.30, I'm on the floor. And then from 12.30 to 2.30, we're in a conference room where we talk about our patient and we do like report forms and all that stuff. This is what he printed out for us. And it says colonoscopy. And he just literally, it's really cool. I have no idea what they're doing upstairs. There's some holes up here. That is not supposed to be there. See those holes there? This is the colon. And then there's like some holes and like, dents in it. What that is, is diverticulosis. I don't know, this word right here. D yeah, diverticulosis. And basically you can get that through diet. Like, um, what the nurse was explaining to me was that, say for example, you're constipated and your, your bowels have to work a little bit harder. Do you know peristalsis where it's like, it squeezes and then it goes, it squeezes and it goes and it squeezes and it goes, what we learned in physio? Basically, that's what happens um, in your colon. So when your feces is too hard or too rough or just not a good diet, basically not enough fiber, not enough fruits or veggies, um, these dents, these holes, diverticulosis can form. And if those rupture and you puncture, it actually can go through into another body cavity and, and they can be very deadly. So try not to get those esophago gastro duodenoscopy which look like this of barrett's esophagus barrett's is is basically let me show you guys an example so your stomach is right here and you know how there's that sphincter that divides the esophagus into the stomach it's through all of your intestines and he goes up the ascending colon transcending and descending and he even showed like you could see the the red scope light at the end of where he ended and he showed it to us it was amazing and i got to like see it it was really cool I'm making the egg whites right now avocado toast and cheese good morning you guys happy friday it is 6 22 i don't know if you should see that but oh oh I'm at McDonald's, it is Friday, so I figured I'd treat myself to a delicious hash brown with some ketchup for breakfast. So, there's the McDonald's. I'm alive, it is 4.54 Friday. Oh, you guys can see me, I'm in my room downstairs, and I'm just doing my patient packet that's due on Monday. I have two due a week, I have one, my Thursday one due on Friday today, then my Friday one due on Monday. So I just want to get it done so that this weekend I can do other stuff. I have my clipboard for clinicals. I have my drug book. So I'm just going to be doing my two med researches and my patient summary. And hopefully I'll be done before Shivam gets here. So that tonight I can go watch him um, do jujitsu. He's going to jujitsu practice tonight and it's nogi. And I normally try to go every Friday. It's kind of like a tradition. Um, so yeah, hopefully last week I got to go, but I had to do my patient summary because I had a quiz on Monday, so I couldn't procrastinate it. I had to do it on Friday, so I had Saturday and Sunday to study. But since I don't have a quiz on Monday besides for my math retake, um, I will actually be able to see him do Nogi, so let's see how this goes.